Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Desiree Chauke, one of our producer presenters here on Morning Live, is at the St. George's Hotel. And that's where we find the ANC Women's League gathering today. And we were joking about the sea of black, green and gold that will soon descend upon that particular venue as they choose a leader and thrash out some of their policies. But let's hear it from the woman on the ground. Desiree, very good morning to you. Uh, it's still quite dark where you are at the moment, but uh, the light is finally shining because we finally have a conference of the ANC Women's League. I know we do, but not only is it dark, but it's also freezing cold. So we sure to be on our toes this morning. But Pretoria, an appropriate location, remembering that uh, 1956 women marched to this very area. And now 3,000 delegates from the African National Congress Women's League will be meeting here today um, and for the next two days to decide on who the new leadership of the organization should be. And sometimes she goes by... The minister, at the times she goes by acting president, but today we're talking to her as the head of communications of the league. And uh, Minister Muleo, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much, Desri, and thank you to your viewers. I had the privilege last night of interacting with women from the Free State who are here to take part in the conference and the palpable excitement, the, the sense of decisiveness. What? What prompts these women to want to come and, and, and take part in this conference? Well, I think in the first instance, the excitement that you're talking about, the eagerness to see us going through this conference and really imagine a united force ready to take forward the struggles of women that are, remain, women that are remaining is all inherent in us women. And I think it is really always the case that we bring that vive, we bring that life. This conference has been delayed, as you know, by an, some 18 months or so, the very same women who are dancing and who are meeting here today are the ones, by the way, who said, when the ANC said in 2013, 2014, that we're beginning with our, nas our national elections and therefore you need to be detached from anything that can destabilize the ANC, but rather get onto the election machinery. They said, with all our hearts indeed went on on a 30 days campaign back to back and supporting the NC. That's one of the reasons why there was a bit of a delay. But yes, we are excited that we are here today and this conference has got a very good theme. Radical transformation of socio-economic rights for women. Indeed, it is a very good theme. We want to say to the people of South Africa that as the country is talking radical transformation, we also want to see that there's been transformation to some extent, but we think that indeed we need to go forward, a bit forward, and indeed ensure that every woman comes along. You've also said you met the quorum for the number of people that are required here. Have they all arrived? Have they registered? I know yesterday was registration day. Are you, are you good to go? What's going to happen today? We are very happy that indeed... Actually, this is one of the few conferences where registration has gone so smoothly. Up to yesterday at about uh, 6, 7 uh, in the evening, we had already registered some six provinces fully. They were in the hotels as opposed to others. There were some queries a little later with some two uh, provinces, but it was just a few delegates that were remaining behind. We are ready. The 3,000 people have arrived. It will be just here and here, there, but there would be replacements as well a bit. Who is this conference talking to? A woman watching at home, an ordinary South African, who is not necessarily a, a member of the African National Congress Women's League and wants to know, do they have my best interest at heart? Good thing is that we have been on the record saying throughout the whole country, every woman must participate. Here are the documents, they are on your website, six of the best talking to every woman, poverty, women who are abused, women who want to get into the economy, women in law and so forth, so all of them, their interests are actually taken on board. But in the this. concerns that these documents seem so elaborate and yet, how do they talk to that woman who experiences non-access to health on a daily basis? There's a section that deals with analyzing exactly what are the problems that we are experiencing in health, even though who 
people have actually access. But what are the things that do not may enable an ordinary woman in the society to access health? Because they can be health okay. facility, but you cannot be, you may not be able Minister to. Minister there's a lot to talk about, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you throughout the coming three days, but thank you so much. What Quickly, what can we expect? We expect a smooth conference that will end with a leadership that will take these very important issues forward and a united force after this conference. Thank you so much for talking to us, and we will be talking to many more people later on, including the current president of the ANC Women's League, uh, Ms. Ng Motecha. But for now, we're talking to the head of communications, Ms. Esna Mulewa. Let's go back to Johannesburg and uh, look at sports.